Hello there classmates! Welcome to this video. And if you are still wondering on how to use the canvas, I'm going to teach you and give you some important reminders on how you're going to use as a student our main uh, learning management system which is the canvas here in the University of Baguio. So as we all know, when you talk about the canvas, this is widely used no, internationally and many institutions, educational institutions as well as universities around the world are basically using now the canvas. So uh, important reminder before we start, rule number one, you should be enrolled or officially enrolled as a UB student and number two, you should have a stable connectivity okay, so that you will understand what I'm going to show you later on. So without further delay, let us proceed now on the Canvas. So once we log in or we have an account of the Canvas, this is uh, the first thing no, that we're going to look at or this will be our first interface on the Canvas. So we have there the dashboard or let's say here in the left side, we have there the account, our account, uh, me as a teacher and you as a student. Okay, So we have their account, the dashboard, the courses, the calendar, the inbox, the history, the commons and even the help button okay so those are the different uh, uh, what we call this one different navigations okay and as we go on no, we need to take note on some of the important parts yeah, important parts of the canvas so once we have the published courses already in our canvas all we need to do is we're going to enter and we're going to enter now the uh, published course so for example i'm going to enter this course I'm just going to open it in a new tab so that you're going to see the difference. Okay, so this will be the first interface. And once I entered the course now, this will be the first thing that you're going to um, see. No? So this will be the front page or let's say the home page of our courses. But that is depending on the courses that you are enrolled. And then depending also on the design or depending on the structure of the teacher. In my case, this will be your uh, interface okay so we're going to look at there the the welcoming page uh, or let's say the home page so we have there the recent announcement so the first announcement we're just going to click that one to view or to read the announcement okay and then below we can see there the different um welcoming videos okay? and even guidelines and other things that you need to uh, check out and before we proceed further you need to understand that there are also important navigation panels within these courses okay, or within a particular course okay, so if you try to look again on the left side we have their home announcement assignments quizzes google meet conference discussions and other navigation panels okay? and basically not all is be, not all are actually being used okay, most of the time but there are important uh, navigation panels that you need to take note. Okay, number one, you have there the home page. Okay, the home page is where you can look at all the things that you can do or all the things that you need to do within the uh, class okay, or within the class schedule. Okay, and then you can also find in the home page or in the front page, if you scroll the, all the way down, you can find the, the uh, your attendance okay? so every now and then you're going to check out also the front page and look for your attendance so for example in this case you can find there on the letter C so this is the summary of your task for the week and you can also see their instruction so before you proceed make sure to log into our attendance so you're going to click just going to click this date which is january 17 2022 and you're going to proceed now on our or directed you on the quizzes okay so basically i'm using the quizzes as a attendance now, i'm not using the standard or the general attendance of the uh canvas okay so some considerations or some reasons okay all right and aside from the front page aside from the pr front page you need to take note also on uh, the right side Okay, so we have there the left side, which is the navigation panels. On the right side, you're going also to check out the different parts. Okay, so you have there the upcoming activities. Uh, or you can just click the view calendar and you're going to check out the different upcoming activities. Okay, or tasks that you're going to do within the week or maybe within the class schedule. And by the way, this is the uh, teacher's view. No? So once I click the student view, yeah, so ito na yung 
interface ng uh, student canvas. Okay, so ito na yung makikita ninyo as a student on your canvas. So same as true no? within the uh, teacher's view. The only difference, there are some navigation panels that is not available for you because we are only the ones uh, or the, the only teachers can um, edit or can modify or do something in that particular navigation panels. Okay? But in any case, these are definitely important navigation panels. Okay? So aside from the attendance, uh, even the different guides or guidelines on the front page, uh, you need to read again no, or take note on the expected tasks within this week. So every week, there will be an update with this uh, particular part no, or this particular front page or home page so that you will know what will be your expected activities or tasks within the week. Okay? And below, you can also find there my contact information in case that you need to ask something or a verify something or inquiry and at least you're going to use or you have there my contact information now as we proceed now on the next navigation panels aside from the home we have also announcements and so we have announcement but basically the announcement can be seen already on the home page so announcement is just the announcements now whatever announcement is being posted then definitely those are the things that you can find in the announcement okay and for assignments these are the different tasks or activities or even assignments, yes, from the name itself, assignments. No? So tasks, activities, etc. will be posted here in the assignment panel. So if you don't want to uh, click the button on the home page, you can definitely go to this assignment panel. Okay? Or just going to uh, click the assignment navigation panel. Okay? And then after assignment, we have their quizzes. So I have said the quizzes is basically used for uh, attendance. So you can see the different uh, uh, dates no, for your attendance. So this is uh, being used for attendance. And at the same time, quizzes will be used also for your examination. So as of now, we don't have an exam. So I did not yet put or publish a exam in this quizzes panel. Okay? And then afterwards, if you observe, we have there the next one which is Google Meet Conference. Okay? The Google Meet Conference is basically the main uh, video conferencing or video conference uh, platform that we're going to use uh, throughout the semester. So, what you're going to see there, once you click the Google Meet conference, uh, you're going to see an open in new tab. And once you click this open in new tab, uh, directly you will be uh, going to the uh, home page of this Google Meet. Okay? So, all you need to do is to join uh, and then we'll go, you, you are good to go already for our video conferencing. Okay, so that is um, just uh, two clicks. No? So let us just close this one. So that is the Google Meet conference. And after the Google Meet conference, we also have discussions. Discussions are like a Facebook wall. And I know that you are fan of posting your different uh, stories on your Facebook wall or maybe in your Instagram. So this is basically similar. No? Or there is somewhat similarity of the discussion panel. Okay, so topics will be posted here and even other questions no? and most of the time uh, there will be points as well no? so you're not just going to uh, what you call something you're just just going to answer the questions but basically there are uh, points okay? so once we click this for example the first uh, posted discussion so this is like a facebook wall as i have said no? so once i place there a topic you're going to um, uh, going to use the reply button or the comment section below of this uh, topic and um, that is already the use of the discussion okay and discussions will be used also in case that uh, we have an asynchronous class or let's say an, or we don't have a video conferencing uh, so this is an alternative uh, discussion no so i'm going to put another topic there or let's say a chapter topic or questions that you're going to answer so that we'll have a somewhat a discussion or feedback or comments regarding that topic okay? and after the discussion we also have grades so i know that you are aware now you are very sensitive on your grades so every now and then you can check the grades no? so you can see there the different activities and even your scores no? and even the total scores of those different uh, activities and you can also change or check out the due date of those different um, activities and if in case I assign you a group activity then you can check also the assignment group okay? and after the grades we also have pages 
So pages is like the let's say our main uh, set a main part, no? So this will be our main part of the canvas. So without the pages, I cannot create what is in the home page. Okay? So this is the pages, and you can see this is basically our home page. Okay? And in the pages, it is where I'm going to post the different parts or different chapters of our module. So it's like an ebook. No? Or say if you are reading manga, it's similar. No? So it's like an episodes, but this time it is module, so that would be chapters or per lesson. Okay? So those things will be posted or published in this particular uh, navigation panel, which is the pages. So pages is very important. You can check that one all the time if you don't want to check out yung ating homepage. Okay? And afterwards, uh, the syllabus. Okay? The syllabus is... I think granted, no, I think granted most of the time, uh, but this is also an important part, no, an important navigation panel of the canvas because this is already the summary, or you can see what are the expected topics within our core subject. Okay, so you can read there the introduction, the requirements on how we compute your grades, yeah, and the study learning guides, and so on, and also other ethics or maybe rules and regulations. Or policies now that you can find it in the syllabus and like i have said you can find there a study guide or let's say a study schedule so at least you have basis already yeah so those are the different topics at least you know the different topics that is upcoming and you can do an advanced reading or maybe an advanced research on those different topics okay? so that you will be prepared during the discussion or during our video conferencing okay? and then afterwards after the syllabus we also have the modules and yeah, modules is uh, Basically, yes. The what is what is the print, whatever the, the printed or the hard copy of module that is already being digitalized or let's say uh, turn out to become online. Okay, so uh, naging PDF na or naging Word na yung ating parts ng module. So if you are going to check also the previous modules or parts of our uh, module, then you can check out this navigation panel. Okay, so that is another important part of the canvas and we also have files files is where you can find all the different files or different documents or videos that is being uploaded in our canvas uh, however if that is external or let's say for example um, this canvas is being uh, let's say embedded with a Google Drive and you cannot see actually an uploaded file except for a one file and for example we have the student consultation form template because that is the only thing that i uploaded all of the documents or files that is being uploaded in our canvas was actually embedded with my google drive so that was being uh, monitored by the google drive or the cloud um, storage okay so uh, all those files is coming from the google drive yeah and after files we also have people yeah, so where you can find your classmates your name of your teacher and even the observers and so on okay? uh, for collaborations this is uh, being used now for ah so it's not yet being published on my uh what is on in our canvas so it is access denied but in any case uh, as i have said now the collaboration is basically used for let's say group activities and even for uh, maybe appointing new other tasks with the other applications or online platforms maybe for example if i'm going to use quizzes um, and other kinds of online application tools that you're going to use then collaboration will be used so uh, honestly this is, i'm using it seldom no? so not really often using this collaboration and we also have Google Drive. If you want to embed your own Google Drive, why not? No, or if my Google Drive is being embed in this particular uh, canvas, then you can see my Google Drive. Okay, so as of now, well, actually, yeah. And we also have chat. Chat is an alternative, let's say, messenger group chat. Yeah. So if we have a Facebook Messenger, this is similar, no? So to Facebook Messenger, so we can use this one if we are all online or if we are going to ask me question, you can use the chat because most of the time, I'm also online in the Canvas, okay? Uh, provided that or given that I am inside this course, okay? So it's an alternative. The big blue, the big blue button is. Uh, 
actually a type of a video conferencing app or the standard or the general video conferencing app of the canvas however i'm not really using the big blue button for some reasons now the bandwidth is a little bit high or heavy eh, compared to the google meet conference or maybe zoom no? so i prefer google meet conference so if you observe i already added there the google meet conference so no need to check out the big blue button in but in case no i'm going to ask you to use the big blue button why not no? so let's try go let us going to try what is also the big blue button or how we're going to use this type of video conferencing uh, tool no of the canvas so that's it no my dear classmate those are the different parts of you, our uh, what you call uh, course no in the canvas so this is the student view so this is basically what you can see what is inside our course subject and another reminder please now my dear classmate always check also your uh, home page from time to time for maybe updates and so on announcement etc and even your inbox now, the inbox is an alternative let's say email or gmail of the canvas so you can use this one to chat also with me or to send something or to verify something or maybe to send a file or document etc and this is basically being used if you have a late activities or late activity outputs okay so i prefer maximizing the use of this inbox of the canvas okay so those are the different parts and i hope that you followed on how you're going to use this canvas if you have any other questions or clarifications or verification just feel free to contact me with the contact information that is being provided in our course subject or in the home page okay so i'll see you all on the orientation or the first day of our class for a gmit conference and um, other instructions will be given to you during the time so don't miss the first day first day is let's say crucial but at the same time a very important day to start the semester so that's it thank you so much classmates for being with me to this video i'll see you all on the next video bye